Hey Toro, welcome to my channel and welcome to your February update. We're going to find out what's going on in your life for February. Please remember that this energy can resonate either way. This could be you or your person. This also can resonate for your sun, moon, rising and Venus sign. So let's get straight into it and find out what's going on for Toro for February. Up. The king and the king and queen of cups. Okay, the king of cups came up in, in reverse. Okay, but the king and queen of cups. So I'm getting that you're definitely dealing with a soulmate. Okay, twin flame. I'm getting. Um, it's. I'm getting that you're really fixated at the moment, Taurus. Um, now this could be you or your person. Um, you're really fixated at the moment on you know how things didn't go forward or things didn't like go as planned with this one person um who you feel a very strong soul connection to right you have a lot of love for them okay so there's definitely somebody here hiding their truth okay they could be entertaining a third party situation but they're really thinking about wanting to um Move to the next level with you. Okay, take the energy, have red mate. Just energy. So I'm definitely getting that there could be a third party situation on either side. This could be on your side, Taurus. This could be on the other person's side, okay? Um, but this is definitely... This is what's um, causing like the separation period between this soul connection, okay? Um, I'm getting that... Somebody here is really confused and somebody here is hiding their truth and staying stuck in a connection, okay? So this person at the moment, they're really heartbroken over this, okay? It's like they're really um, stuck in this pain, okay? They're really thinking about how this did not move to the next level. Um, I'm just going to talk about like, I'm going to call it masculine, okay? So... The masculine here, okay, is really upset that things did not go to the next level, okay? They're replaying, like, scenes in their head, okay? They're replaying memories, like, reminiscing here about you, Taurus. Um, and I'm getting that it's like they really want to talk to you, but they stop themselves because maybe there's some type of third-party situation. They just feel like um, the feminine here is unavailable, So this is like a thousand percent the twin flame journey that you're on here. Um, this person wants to talk to you now. They want this connection now, but they continue to stay stuck stuck in negativity, in like bad thoughts. They feel like that you would never go towards them for some reason. This person may tr may have tried to walk away from you, and now it's like they can't get over you. And even if they tried to like get away from you or like get over this okay it was because they were feeling really intense emotions this was also triggering them they also had this commitment issue and they never really thought they had this commitment issue um because it was like they could be right now entertaining a third party but like there's no emotion in that okay it's like very this person doesn't have to like open up emotionally okay they're scared to be uh vulnerable here okay um, it's like, they feel like they tried to move away from you because this connection was too intense, Taurus, okay? Um, but now they can't get over this, and they're like, they're thinking, like, what is going on? Like, how come, like, you know, you're opening up everything for them? Like, you're opening up, even, like, their third eye here, you're opening this person up spiritually. This person can't get over you, okay? So even if you, you guys are not speaking, okay, in the 3D, even if you guys, like, even if they're in a karmic or, like, they're in a relationship or they're entertaining somebody else, they can't get over you. They can't stop thinking about the connection and how they wish they had another chance here. It's like they're stuck on you here. They keep getting signs about you as well. And they feel like they've gone in the wrong direction. It's like now they know what this connection is and they feel like they've gone in the wrong direction. So this person, 
I'm hearing pity party, which is something I usually wouldn't say, but it's like this person is like throwing a pity party for themselves, okay? They're in this like victim mindset here, okay? Where they're thinking a lot about the past and how the past turned out and they're not thinking, like they feel like they've missed this opportunity. Um, they feel like they can't come forward, like they want to come forward, but they're stuck. Um, they also feel like they know what's up now, like they have, I feel like they know about the Twin Flame connection, or they've done research here about it, but something about like doing this research and finding out how deep and intense this connection is, had, ma had made this person really intimidated, like they're scared to get um, invested in this because they feel like that they're really going to have to commit, they're really going to have to open up their heart here, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Pisces, or a Cancer here. So this person is stuck on you, they cannot get over you, and it's like they're worried, that this is like old energy, they're worried that, um, that you're over it, okay? They're really worried this is over. So, Taurus, I'm getting that you guys are stepping back into your power. You're taking your power back, okay? It's like, I'm hearing you're sitting on your throne here, okay? So it's like, you're really like, this person may have put you on a pedestal as well. Um, but it's like, you're really stepping back into your power. You're very um, balanced, mind, body, and soul, okay? You're going for what you want here. And it's like, you're something very independent, and I'm getting that you're getting very blessed here, Taurus, okay, financially, um, also, it's just, like, things are coming together, it's also, like, that you have this knowing that this person is going to come forward, it's like you're waiting on it, you also know deep down, I'm getting that you're very intuitive, Taurus, and you... No deep down that this is like your happily ever after, that you're going to have a family with this person, that like this is going to happen, even if you guys are not speaking right now. I'm getting, sometimes you do get those moments where you're like, oh, like what if? This person's really upset over you, they're obsessing over you, um, they want to contact you, yeah, but they feel like that you're going to like ghost them or reject them, and they have a very like low self-esteem right now, um, Again, you're really confident in knowing that this is going to happen, okay? Um, like, you know, you're stepping in your power. You're just waiting for this person to, like, get their shit together, I'm getting. You could be dealing with a cancer here or an Aquarius. So this person is so obsessed with you. They might not be, be even showing you anything. They might not be telling you this, okay? But they're obsessed with you. It's like they feel like they're so obsessed with you that they don't know how to get out of it. Um, and then they also feel like they can't approach you because they've put you on a pedestal here, like, they literally look at you like you're famous or something, like, that's the pedestal they've put you on, like, because you tick all their boxes, they feel like you are very beautiful, like, no matter what you do, you're very beautiful, you're very intelligent, I'm hearing as well, I'm, I'm hearing Cinderella, okay, that could resonate with somebody. This person really wants to talk to you, but it's like they're very intimidated by you. They feel like that you probably don't want to, like, know who they are because of the character that they showed you in the past. They're sort of scared, like, you're over this as well. You're moving on. So in the month of February, I am getting there's going to be some type of communication from this person. Now, this person's very nervous. So I'm getting that this um, communication, okay? It's not going to be like, it's just going to be like a quick message or something along that. Now, this could um, lead to a new beginning, though, with this person. Definitely movement here with this person. This person doesn't want to wait any longer, okay? They've done a lot of, like, watching um, and not doing anything. They could have gone after a different person or tried to replace you here, but now they realise they want you and only you and they're not telling you this. So for some of you, Taurus, you're the one that's um, 
entertaining some type of karmic situation or somebody else and you're ignoring this um connection this soul connection here this person could be waiting on contact from you especially if you haven't spoken to them or you've been like entertaining somebody else because this person's not really sure this person trying to manifest you Taurus you could be trying to manifest them but I am getting that the masculine is trying to manifest this because they want this now and it's like they can't get over this. They want something stable here. It's like they want to commit here to you. They want to they want to be with you and only you. Like they tried to walk away before but now it's like they want to be with you. They want to tell their truth. They've been hiding their feelings. They're sort of scared of you. <laughs> like they're really scared of you because they feel like you're very... um. I'm hearing cutthroat, but I'm also hearing, like, blunt. Like, you're very blunt. Like, you know, you're very balanced. You're very independent as well. You know, you have a good job, I'm hearing. You may make a lot of money. Um, and I'm getting that they feel like you're more focused on yourself and your money than this connection. They're not really sure how to approach you because, again, this person, this person feels a very strong soul connection. They have a lot of love here for you. Um, but they feel like you've had this glow up or something, like they're really looking at you like you're on some type of like very high pedestal and they're not feeling the same way about themselves, their esteem, uh, their self esteem is low right now, but you have this person's heart to it. they want to communicate here with you and they haven't been sure. We are ending here with the king of cups, okay, and the lover's card, so, <coughs> excuse me. They're masculine here. They have so much love here for you. They are ready to commit. Like, this person's ready to marry you, Taurus. No joke. And Like, even if they have somebody else, like, they're, they're not even looking at this other person. They don't even paying attention to this other person. This other person's just here, and they're just there, knowing that they're in love with you, um, knowing that they want to be with you, feeling like they want to come and talk to you, and they want to start something with you. They don't care about this other person. They feel like they... It's like they're hiding their feelings. Um, and this person is nothing but a block here. But I am getting in the month of February that they're ready. Wow. I'm hearing it's you and only you. Okay. That's exactly like the line in my head that I just heard. Somebody literally could tell you. Like this person could literally tell you in the month of February that it's you and only you, and this person means that this person's in love with you, like, they feel a connection so deep to you that they have never felt with anybody before. Yeah, they could have, um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn here. Um, yeah, they're literally obsessed with you, okay, this person, it's like, they can't stop thinking about you, okay, they really want things to go, um, they really want a new beginning here with you, even if things didn't work out in the past, like they can't get over you, they tried, it's not working, they want to be with you and only you. I'm literally hearing um, that song from Justin Bieber, Baby, in my head, let me know if that resonates for you. Yeah, again, definitely dealing with a twin flame here, okay, this person... It's like you're all this person wants. They, they're holding themselves back here. Again, the King of Cups, okay, Four of Wands. Every deck that I've used today, the Four of Wands have come up, okay? So this definitely could be Twin Flame Union. This person's ready to come forward. They're ready to take a leap of faith towards you. Especially um, if you guys haven't been speaking for a while, like this person hasn't been able to get over you. Okay, it's like they ha it, it's been going around and around in their mind and it comes to the point where they just want to make a move here. They're sick of like entertaining other people, their intuition. They know that they're going against their intuition by not going towards you, okay, Taurus? Like they get a lot of signs here about you and they're not stupid. I do see there's going to be a new beginning, but before the new beginning comes in, like, there's, this, there's something that needs to happen, okay? So if there's, like, a third party, it needs to end, okay? If there's a third party on their end, it needs to end. And I'm getting that they're about to end it, okay, if it's on their end, because 
they want to go toward you. Like, they're not happy. They're not happy. They're, there's no love in this other connection. There's a lot of fights, okay? It's really fake, okay? There's no passion here either. This Divine Masculine just thinks about you. Like, they could be stuck in a whole different situation, but they just want to be with you, and they just feel like they've put you on this pedestal, and they just feel like you're unreachable here. Again, the Emperor has also come out in every single deck here. This person really has put you on the pedestal here, okay? They really look at you like you're everything that they want. You tick all boxes in here, Taurus. They want to be with you, but they are a little scared to come at you here. They have a lot of dreams about you. It's like they can't get over you. It's like they, it's driving them crazy in here, Taurus. So I'm getting that you have like a lot of options here and that also, it makes this person not sure if they should come forward or not, but I do see there's an opportunity of a brand new loving beginning here. Um, I'm getting that the problem here is the communication. Like you both have like a lot of feelings here for each other, but none of you are speaking. You could be dealing with a very stubborn person. You both could be very stubborn. You're not speaking. You're mirroring each other. But it's like it's causing this pain here. Um, it's like you both are longing to be with each other. You both want to be with each other. But there is this like, there's this sense of like this stubborn energy, right? Where somebody here's ignoring what they want. This, yeah, and keeping themselves stuck in pain. Because they're holding back their feelings. They're not communicating here with you. They feel like they've been manipulated to you in the past. And that's why they're scared to come forward, okay? They really want another, begin uh, another beginning here with you. Because this person really feels like... They feel like you're there happily ever after. Like, I'm serious when I say this is like union for some of you, okay, this is a lot like Capricorn reading, okay, um, there is like a union, you could be dealing with Capricorn, but, um, you could be dealing with Cancer here, but like, there is an opportunity of Twin Flame union, okay, and that energy is present at the moment, so, if that is like what you're waiting for, there's definitely an opportunity right now, okay, this person, this masculine is going to step into their power, um, especially if they have any other option, they're about to drop this other option, they want to go towards you, they're, they're thick of keeping themselves, it's like they want to be with you, but they're keeping themselves like away, they're keeping themselves in pain, they're trying to be strong here, oh look at this guys, we're ending with the king and the queen of swords, okay, so look, this could be Twin Flame Union here. At the moment, you guys are being very stubborn towards each other, okay? You guys are not communicating properly. You guys are not showing emotion to each other. Maybe you guys are just friends here, but you, you're meant to be together, and you guys are not saying anything about it. But somebody's about to say something. Somebody's about to realize, and I'm getting it to masculine here. They're about to realize that they don't want to lose this, they want to be with you, they're sick of playing these games, they're sick of partying their feelings, um, they're stuck on you, they're obsessed with you, they love you here, I'm getting something about a Rolex, let me know if that resonates for you, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so you could be dealing with a Leo, this person, okay, they have some type of weakness for you, like, you are their weakness, okay, um, so that's all I have for you, Taurus, I really hope this resonated, if it did, please let me know in the comments, Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.